Big question around harmonics is the point of common coupling. What is the point of common coupling? So if we're going to explain the point of common coupling, we have to think about from whose perspective it means, right? So if we look at it from the utility perspective, it's the point where they can serve you and multiple other customers. From your perspective, it's from where you meet the utility and potentially your neighbor meets the utility. And the reason that this is an important distinction is from a harmonic standpoint, harmonics are produced by the loads. So if you produce enough harmonics to screw up your neighbor, the utility can, you know, stop you from doing that. If your neighbor screws up the power system and affects you, again, the utility can stop that. So the point of common coupling is the point where everything comes together, and it's really important to understand that from a harmonic standpoint. Let's take a look at a couple of slides. So the PCC on a public power system is really um, the point where that load, or you as a load from the utility perspective, are or could be connected. So when we have multiple people at the secondary of a transformer or at the primary transformer, really the transformer is not necessarily relevant, it's where you could be connected. But the important thing of this is these limits should not be used, and this is in the IEEE 519 standard, for the evaluation of an individual nonlinear load, but rather the evaluation of the installation containing such nonlinear loads. What that means is it's the overall system effect, not not at one load, and I think that's probably one of the most misabused parts of the IEEE 519 standard. This was pulled out of the 14 um, standard, but it's also the same in the 22 one. <clears throat> Basically, again, it's the point of common coupling is where we have a dedicated service transformer or a common service transformer. It could be either side. It just really depends on where the utility um, could feed another customer. And then the interesting thing is here, there's two things in the standard that make, um, are required, and you can't exceed a certain amount of total demand distortion from a current standpoint, and you can't screw up the voltage from a voltage harmonic distortion. If you measure voltage distortion on the secondary, and it's okay, then you can be assured that on the primary it's going to be okay, because again, if we're pushing the harmonic currents from the load towards the source, it's going to be okay. The current on both sides of the transformer, we talk about this in a number of the videos, would be the same from a THD standpoint, minus the third harmonics that could circulate the delta winding, or if it's a delta zigzag, could come back to the load. But again, if the PCC is on the high side and you can't safely measure on the high side, but your numbers comply on the low voltage side, then you can be assured that it's going to be okay from the standpoint of uh, the secondary. Okay, so when we look at that and we consider what is the point of common coupling, why do we care? The utilities care because they don't want you screwing up the neighbors. We care because we don't want the neighbors screwing us up. And it's a matter of the harmonics are coming from the loads going back up onto the system. Utilities often will, um, you know, enforce that and stop people from producing harmonics if there are, you know, if you're messing around with the neighbor's power system and vice versa. And when special applications, when you apply power factor correction capacitors or your neighbor does, we have to make sure that we don't amplify the harmonics on either side of the system and that also comes into play when we start talking about that point of common coupling.